Okay, everyone. So now we are learning the input box. Input box is the predefined function in the .NET. There are two predefined functions which are mostly used. The first is the message box function and second one is the input box function. When we are going to display the message to the user, then we use the message box function. Whenever we are going to take the input from the user, at that time we use the input box function. So this input box function is used to display message box where user can enter the value. So whenever we run this input box function at that time one message box appear. This is a message box. Now here we are having the option of input so that we can input any of the element here. Now from the user we can take out certain input. Let us suppose that if you want to take some number some value from the user. Now this input box is used for that purpose. Now the return type of input box function is string type. Now we are learning the syntax of input box function. With the help of that we can display it to the user while programming. So now we are learning the syntax. So this is the syntax of input box. Here we are having the various parameters inside the input box function. Also we are having the return type. So we are starting with one by one. The first thing we are having is the prompt. Whenever we are going to display a message to the user that is called the prompt. So if you talk about the input box here. Now here enter number. Now we are going to display a message to the user that please enter some number. Now that is the prompt. So the prompt is the first parameter and this parameter is the string message which is displayed to the user. Next parameter is title. Whenever we are showing an input box on the top of input box we are showing certain message just like I am printing my name here Ankit Varma. This is nothing but the title. So the second parameter is title where we are representing the string which is displayed in title bar. The top bar in the input box is called the title bar. The next parameter we are having in the input box function is the default text. Now let us suppose that we are asking some text from the user but user is not entering any text. User simply press ok or cancel. Now what will happen? There should be some default value. Now that is called the default text. So default text is the default response when there is no input provided by the user. So if in front of the user we are having some input box and user is simply pressing ok or cancel then this default text will be taken. Now the next thing we are having is xy position. There are two positions one is the x position and second one is the y position. Now these are the two position which are giving the x and y values where this input box will be positioned. So if you want that input box should be appear on the screen at some specific x and y position then these position we can provide. So it indicate the appearance of input box on the screen. The next one we are having is msd. msd is a normal variable. It can be any name. It can be a, b, c, i, j. Any variable can be taken. Here we have taken msd. You can take any variable. This variable is going to store the input given by the user. Let us suppose that this input box is appeared on the user screen. Now afterward user entered certain value. Let us suppose that 57. This value is entered by the user. The user click on the OK button. Afterward this 57 result will be given. So this input will be stored by msg variable. So here msg variable store the input given by user. Now we are understanding that how this input box work. First of all in the syntax we are going to provide this line which is input box. So that is the keyword input box. Now then bracket will start. Then afterward we have to provide the prompt. Inside the prompt we are providing enter number. So this enter number we are going to provide in the bracket. So here this is the prompt part where we will write in the double quotes enter number. Then we will apply the comma. Then we are going to write the title. Title is nothing but 
Ankit Varma. So this we are writing into the double quotes here. Ankit Varma. Then afterward, comma, if you want that, if user do not enter any of the value, you want to provide certain value. Let us say 57 you want to provide, 56 you want to provide. Then you can enter the default text if you want. If you don't want, then skip this. No problem. Then afterward, we are having the X and Y position. If you want that, your input box should be appear at X and Y position on a specific location. Then you provide it. Otherwise, no problem. Then afterward, this type of input box will appear. Now, user is going to enter the value. Let us suppose that this 57. Then afterward, press OK button. Now, this 57 value will be taken by the msg variable variable can be any it can be any variable a b c d whatever we take now on that variable now we are having the value which is 57 this value we have taken from the user in the form of input box so this is the pop-up box which will appear and afterward user will enter the value and it will hide so this is how input box work now we are going to take one real life example of a program with the help of that, we will understand that how this input box really work. So this is the program of input box. Here we have taken one form. This is the form one. Then we dragged and dropped one label. This is the label one. And we change the name that is input box. Then we drag and drop one button. This is button one. Then change the name that is click. So. We double click on this button and afterward this code will open. Here we are having public. Public means this is accessed outside class form one. So this form one is having the class which is of public type. It is ending with the end class. Then afterward we are having the coding of button. This is the button whose coding is there. Private because button is the part of form. It cannot be accessed directly. So it is private. Sub means void. No return type. Then button one underscore click. That means this is the name of function. We are passing two parameter here. So this is the default by the dot net. Two parameters are passing. What this function is doing? This function is handling button one dot click event. Means whenever we click on this button, then this function will run. So if you click on the button, this function is now running. First of all, we have declared one variable dim for the declaration a is the name of variable as string so string type variable we have declared that is a now afterward we are providing a is equal to means a is having the result so whatever the result will come from the input box that will be stored into the variable a input box so this is the function bracket start afterward the first parameter we know that the first parameter is nothing but the prompt and this prompt will be displayed to the user so enter your name you can see that the input box will appear here we are having enter your name then afterward comma then second we know that the second thing is nothing but the title so this title will be displayed on the title bar which is welcome so welcome is displayed over there we have not passed other values just like default value or xy position that is optional if you don't want to provide that is perfectly okay so now in front of the user we are having an input box now user has to input something over there into this particular text box so it is automatically appear now user is going to type here let us suppose that my name ankit Varma is written then afterward user press ok button now this Ankit Varma is going to store inside the variable A. So here inside the variable A, we are going to store the name which is given by the user. So this name Ankit Varma is stored in variable A. Then we are simply pushing a message box. So message box, so one message box is appear. Now A, we know that inside the A we have taken Ankit Varma. So this name is displayed. Now we can press OK to close this. So this is how we can display the input box and on the runtime we can take the input from the user. So that is all about input box.